Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Introduction to Graphs. Today we will discuss an application of linear graph, that is, quantity and cost. Tom started a new business on dairy farm. The following table shows the quantity and cost of milk produced in Tom's farm. Plot a graph to show this data. Here, we can see, as the quantity of milk increased, the cost of milk also increased. That is, the cost of milk depends on the quantity of milk. The cost of 2 liters of milk is 100 rupees. Clearly we can say that, the cost of 1 liter of milk is, 100 by 2, equals 50 rupees. Similarly, we can obtain the cost of milk per liters in each case. See, here the cost per liter, in all cases are same. That is, the cost of milk, and quantity of milk, is directly related or, they are in direct proportion. And here, the proportionality constant is, 50, which is the cost per, liter. So we can say that, the cost of milk is a dependent variable and the quantity of milk is an independent variable. Therefore, we take the quantity of milk on the x-axis and the cost of milk on the y-axis. Let us choose the scale as on the x-axis, one unit equals two liters and on the y-axis, one unit equals 100 rupees. Now, we can plot each ordered pair as 2, 100, 4, 200, 6, 300, 8, 400, 10, 500, and 12, 600. When we join these points, we get a linear graph. Now, when we extend this line forward and backward, we can see that the linear graph passes through the origin. Can you say, what's the reason for that? Yes, in the given quantities, one is dependent and the other one is independent. When there is no milk produced, that is, the quantity of milk is zero, then the cost of milk is also zero. That's why, the graph passes through the origin. And from this graph, we can obtain some more information. Suppose, we want to know the cost of 11 liters of milk. Then locate 11 on the x-axis and draw a vertical line to the graph such that it meets at A. From A, draw a horizontal line to the y-axis and the meeting point provides the answer. That is, the cost of 11 liters of milk is 550 rupees. Here, we can see if two quantities are in direct proportion, that is, one quantity increases with another quantity linearly, then we get a linear graph. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. The following table gives the quantity of petrol and its cost. Plot a graph to show the data. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.